Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. If you're new here, my name is Jasmine, and if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm back with another uh, discussion topic and this is something that was driving me crazy. And maybe if you guys think about it too, it might drive you a little bit crazy. But I did my research and I spoke to who I think is an expert and I came to a conclusion and hopefully it'll be helpful for you guys. So, I don't know if you guys noticed this, I didn't really pay much attention to this myself, but it's edge stitching, okay? So when I talk about edge stitching on the Chanel bags, um, I'm going to refer strictly to the classic uh, flap line, uh, not so much to other styles like the uh, Coco Handle or the Trendy, I'm not going to talk about those, I'm talking strictly about the classic flap line. And on, this is for example my maxi, so this is the bag that I'm using these days the most. And if you notice on the flap, there's edge stitching, okay? So the edge of the flap is stitched on all around, okay? And you know, I always assumed that bags had this. And when I looked at my lambskin, classic medium flap, it doesn't have edge stitching. So you see here, it's not, it's not stitched on the edge. So I noticed that once and thought about it, but then I didn't really return to that idea again. And then recently I saw one of um, Fashion Junkie's uh, YouTube videos. She had unboxed her mini, extra mini, a uh, cocoa handle from 20k in the iridescent ivory. So I have the mini version and she unboxed the, uh, the extra mini version. And she pointed out edge stitching and she's like, you know, this cocoa handle doesn't have edge stitching, but one of my previous cocoa handles did. And then that question returned to my head again and it drove me nuts. It drove me insane. And I'm like, how come some bags have edge stitching and some don't? And then I started to get paranoid. I'm like, so did I get a bag that was supposed to have edge stitching but didn't have edge stitching and I looked at other you know I looked on Instagram I looked at tag like this bag tagged I looked on Pinterest I looked on the website the Chanel website and their lamp anything that they feature that's lambskin doesn't have edge stitching so then I thought well maybe only caviar bags have edge stitching and lambskin bags do not so then I thought that okay fine but then I was going through my photos and I came across a bag that I saw from 20C and it was a seasonal um, classic double flap in the medium size and um, that was in caviar but it didn't have edge stitching so I also thought well maybe medium bags don't have edge stitching but then I realized that the medium caviar uh, classic flap in the black color will have edge stitching I've seen that just not the lambskin but then I saw on the 20C bag, which was caviar, that that didn't have edge stitching either. So I'm like, okay, so could it be that, you know, it just varies from season to season? And then I thought, okay, well maybe lambskin just isn't supposed to have edge stitching. And then I saw a bag earlier this season from 20B, if you follow me on Instagram, which was the iridescent ivory uh, classic medium flap in the iridescent lambskin. That had edge stitching. So then the paranoia started going and going and going and I posted about it and I tagged um, Zikriyat Hussain who is from Zico Authentication and uh, she has an authentication service. She's like the queen of authenticating Chanel. She has so much knowledge, um, really, really good. She knows her stuff inside out and she does run a Facebook group uh, I think she's renamed that that group. It was, um, let me look it up. Now, oh gosh, so Zico, she just posted this. Coco by Zico, and I'll try to link it in the description box, um, but that's her actual Facebook group. She had a very, very, um, I think it was Chanel Buy Sell Trade on Facebook, but I think that group has been closed i'm not sure but that was the largest running group so now she has it she just announced it actually so um she's restructured that group so if you want any further knowledge you can join that you can also follow her on instagram um, she also sells um, 
pre-loved handbags as well. So she's very trustworthy um, and is one of the gold standards in authentication. And this is what I've heard from a lot of people. So, and she's very sweet and very knowledgeable. So then I messaged her on Instagram and I asked her and she was really sweet to answer. She doesn't have to answer me, right? Like it's not like I'm paying her for her knowledge, but um, she said that lambskin bags and soft caviar will never have edge stitching. So soft caviar is usually the seasonal caviar you'll see. It has a finer grain. So in the classic line, the caviar, the pebbles are larger and the caviar is more stiff and rigid, okay? But seasonal caviar, it's sometimes referred to as micro caviar. So the pebbles are really small and the leather is a little bit more flexible. So that leather and lambskin will never have edge stitching. Hope that makes sense. Then I asked her, well, how come the iridescent lambskin for 20B had edge stitching? And then she said that the iridescent and pearly uh, lambskin might come with edge stitching, but lambskin that is not treated, meaning classic lambskin, that is not treated will never have edge stitching. Okay, so if it's treated, if it's iridescent um, or it's pearly, it can come with edge stitching, but if it's untreated lambskin, it will never come with edge stitching. So just to summarize, untreated lambskin and soft caviar will never have edge stitching. Hard, rigid, classic caviar with the larger pebbles will always have edge stitching. And Treated lambskin, whether it's iridescent or pearly, may come with edge stitching. I hope that is helpful for you guys, and if you guys ever thought about this, hopefully your brain's not going to explode like mine was about to explode because I was trying to find the answer to this. I hope this is helpful for anybody who's looking for the answer. If you like this sort of videos, do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you join our channel and our community here. And Tap the bell notification to be notified every time I do upload a new video. I find that really helpful for myself as well. Okay guys, stick around for more videos and I will see you next time. Bye.